we go. The final highlight of the 2020 season for me. Just going to start off quickly here with the first round. It was tough. Really, really windy at both courses playing extremely difficult. Uh, I happened to shoot two under par. I had one bogey that came from a three putt and a bunch of pars. So that was a good start on the hardest course. Next course is at Terra de Consoli. Course scores are a little bit lower, good weather. Uh, this is the easier course, and I ended up shooting five under par to get to second place going into the final round. Uh, this is a pretty cool shot. Our Alpstore photographer does a great job. Uh, I actually uh, made this putt on 17 for Brady to go to eight under, but then three putted the last to go back to seven. So starting off here, we're on hole 15. This is the hardest hole in the course. I have this for Birdie. I hit a six iron from 190 yards here to about 10 feet, sliding left to right putt, hit it really nicely, uh, left it on the high side actually, but the greens here at Golf Nazanel, which is the harder of the two courses, is very, very, um, the greens are really slopey and really quick, so you always have to putt defensively. We're in a 43 yard par four here, just hitting a three iron, getting a little bullet. This was hit nice, ran forever, got about 98 yards, perfect yardage, lob wedge in, I just left it out. It was kind of one of those shots where I, I really needed to turn that thing over, land a little right of the flag and spin it left, but didn't pull it off. So I got a 30-footer here for birdie. This is a good putt. It looked like it was in the entire time until it wasn't. And then I looked back up and I got a five-footer coming back. Really sketchy when you're trying to uh, win a golf tournament. But thankfully, I poured that in. So I am one back. I know that uh, the leaders in the clubhouse are at seven under. I'm in the final group. It was a hard par three. It's playing 194 today. I hit a six iron here. Really cool shot. Marcus Moore, uh, be sure to follow him. MTM Golf was filming it for me. He had a successful Q school as well. So I needed this putt to tie for the lead, knowing that if I go into this par five, I birdie for the win. It was just a big putt, a really good committed stroke. Now this is a really scary tee shot. Uh, anybody who's ever played here can uh, attest for it. It's just OB, basically if you hit in the trees, you're gone here. This is the entire golf course is like this, but to the right, you're completely gone. Backed off on that one, just wasn't settled. I noticed I'm moving a little bit faster. It's good to work on that going forward, but I like to choke down on this thing and try to hit a low slam cut. And I just flushed it. I mean, couldn't have asked for a better oh. drive. I got 234 to a back pin. Got a three iron. I know I'm juiced up. Good. And this was flushed. I mean, this the few swings I put on to finish off were as good as yeah. it gets when it comes to just really flushing. I actually got up close to the top of this ridge here and then came back down. Very severe slope. So two putts for the win from here. About 60 feet. Yeah, I knew I hit a little too firm right off the get-go, but I wasn't going to leave that short. Put it about 7 feet by, little downhill slider left to right. You know, really, got, I just made a left to righter so I, on the last hole, so I, I know what to do in this one. To be honest, I hit this putt perfect. It was rolling in over in. I just, good speed, just under read it, which is a big time bummer. But I, I put myself in position and I really enjoyed being in that spot. I mean, it couldn't be any more fun. Just this whole entire tournament was so much fun. So I got to settle with a tie for first. But there's our boy, Marcus Thomas Moyer, finishing 15th, clutching it up. Full status for him next year. Looking forward to another year traveling. And there's me at the top of the leaderboard with a couple others and a tie. Uh, special uh, thanks to Felipe for all the really great photos and Golf Nazanel for hosting a great tournament despite crazy weather and the Alp Store for having a crazy 2020 season. Can't wait to get back over there. I'm leaving in just a couple weeks. All you guys, thanks for the continued support. Always remember, keep on grinding.